Hi everyone. Welcome to Pearl's Kitchen. If you like my video, give it a thumbs up, press the red button to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you will be notified for my upcoming videos. It's absolutely free. Thank you very much. We will face many defeats in life, but let us ask God to never let ourselves be defeated. Amen. Today I'm going to show you how to make the most luxurious melt-in-the-middle fish cakes. It's really delicious and the ingredients are here. Okay, the ingredients I'm giving you in four different sections. So this is for poaching the fish. So in the frying pan I've got a knob of butter and two tablespoons of olive oil. And I've got around 450 grams of fish and I've got salmon and haddock. You could use cod if you want, any fish actually. And I've got one chopped onion and one chopped spring onion, one bay leaf and I've got 500 ml of milk. So that's for poaching the fish. Then we come here and now this is for the, that goes in the mashed potatoes. I've got 500 grams of potatoes that I've boiled. So I'm going to mash them later and in there we'll put two tablespoons of spring onions, zest of one lemon, I've got around half a teaspoon of dill, very finely chopped, and I've got around one and a half teaspoon of chopped chive, I've got one teaspoon of uh, ground, freshly ground pepper, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and I've got half a teaspoon of uh, mustard, grainy mustard, and I've got half a teaspoon of salt to go in there, and I've got one uh, yolk of an egg also that will go in there and I've got two teaspoons of butter so that's for the mashed potatoes and now this is for the melt in the middle the rare bit that uh, the mixture that goes in the middle and here I've got around uh, 175 grams of cheese and that's a mixture of cheddar and mozzarella and I've got yolk of one egg and I've got half a teaspoon of uh, mustard again grainy mustard and I've got one tablespoon of mayonnaise and I've got two teaspoon of sweet chili dip and I've got six cubes of gouda cheese. You could use any cheese that melts very quickly. So that's the, for the mixture in the middle. And now that's for coating the fish cakes. I always like using oats. So I've got 50 grams of oats and I've got 75 grams of um, breadcrumbs that I toasted that's why it's yellow in color it comes better if you toast it lovely flavor and I've got around a cup of flour plain flour and we need one egg okay the very first thing we need to do is make the rare bit mixture because that needs to go in the fridge and chill for half an hour so these were the ingredients so you need a mixy because we need to make it into a paste so put all the cheese in there all go down so don't worry and you mix put the egg yolk and uh, mustard it doesn't need any salt in here because the cheese is salty This is the one that goes in the middle. It gives it such a, such a lovely flavor. So now what you need to do is just put this, uh, just mix this, grind this, and it will become into a paste. Okay, that's my rare bit uh, mixture done. And that's how it should look like when you're grinding or mixing it. And if you think it's a bit dry, just add a te teaspoon or two teaspoons of mayonnaise to it. And that's how it should look like. Now you just take some, oil in your hand and take around a tablespoon of this mixture and just flatten it use some oil so it doesn't stick in your hand just make it like into a bowl and then you take one of your gouda cheese or any uh, mel quick melting cheese and you put that in the middle and then And then you 
make it into a round ball flatten it a bit and then you keep it aside into a plate and then I'll show you another one if you want to add a little bit more mustard to it if you want to like like nice spicy uh, flavor so you can just put some more mustard now take another lump of cheese and cover it all and doesn't matter what uh, shape it goes all you need to do is just keep making all of these use all the six cubes of cheese and then this goes in the fridge wrap it with the cling film and this goes in the fridge to chill for 30 minutes okay now that our melt in the middle mixture is chilling in the fridge uh, we put the we're going to poach the fish so as soon as your oil and butter gets hot which mine is you put the onion and the bay leaf. Don't put the spring onions yet. And now let the onions sweat just for three to four minutes. We don't want any color in it, just let it sweat. Okay, the onions are soft, so now you need to add the spring onions and stir that. And then you'll add the milk. Raise the heat now. Now we're going to poach the fish in here. Whatever fish you're using. So now put the skin side down. Now we'll put the lid. We'll put the lid on. And now let this poach as soon as it starts to bubble. Uh, put it on simmer and let it poach for five minutes. Okay, my fish has been poaching for the last five minutes. I'm going to turn the gas off now. Now if you take a slotted spoon, and all you need to do is take out the fish into a plate or a dish. Don't forget, don't throw the milk away because if you've got a cat, they would just love this lovely fish flavored milk. My cat gets, in my house, everybody's fed. So now the fish is here. Now this, the fish needs to cool down and make sure the milk is nice and cool before you give it to your cat. Okay, now that the fish is cool enough to handle, we need to, now we don't need to mash the fish, we just need to take a fork and flake it. So remove the skin, we don't need the skin. Remember the, oil, the milk that you kept for your cat, make sure you put it through a sieve so the cat doesn't have all the onions, because cats don't like onions, at least mine doesn't. So, and then this skin can go into the cat's flavored milk. They will love it. So make sure all the skin's off. Leave the skin in here. Comes off very easy actually, the skin. And put the fish in there. fish done and then you just take the take the fork and then yeah just just take the fork and just try to get the little flakes out okay because we need it a bit lumpy it's easy comes out so easily. And that 
that's it and I'll let that rest for a little bit and then we'll mash the potatoes. Okay, now that our lovely fish has been flaked and it's cooled down, and you see I've mashed the 500 grams of potatoes. You could use more potatoes if you want, but I make mine half and half so you can get the flavors of the fish rather than just having mashed potatoes. So now we're going to start adding all these ingredients. That's the mustard, basically everything. And the pepper, chive, and the dill and the salt. Remember, salt to your taste. Mix all this in. And then you take the one egg yolk. And that will use as binding. Potatoes, I didn't mash them very, very well. I left it a little bit lumpy, which is good. Now use some of the butter and then see if you need more. And now start adding the fish. They're still big pieces, just break them up with your fingers. I'm telling you, this is such a such a delicious recipe. You must try it. Okay, and then just bind them all together. You'll be you can see the fish pieces, so don't mash them too much. Just mix them with your hand. If you need more butter now at this time, you can add, but I think it's all right. Don't want it to get too wet. And now you put a cling film and I put this in the fridge for at least 15 minutes to chill. Okay, now that our fish and potato mash has been chilling in the fridge for 15 minutes and our rare bit melt in the middle mixture has been chilling in the fridge for half an hour. And now we're going to make some fish cakes. So make sure you got some oil handy to grease the palm of your hands, make sure your hands are clean and have a lid or another dish to put the fish cakes in. Okay, put some oil in your hands and depends on what size you're making the fish cakes. I like to make them nice and big because I serve it to my family as a meal, main meal. So we give them two each. So now you just have to make like a bowl in the middle and then pick one of the rare bit mixture and put that in the middle and cover it up and there's your lovely first fish cake done so you keep it there you can see all the salmon and the haddock coming through. Now you put more oil in your hands. And another one. A deep bowl. One of the mixture. Around it, press the, f the fish and the potato mash around it. And tap it, flatten it a bit. There, you flatten that one a bit as well. And there. Now keep going till you've used up all of the mixture. Okay, all our fish cakes are made now. Out of this ingredients, you should get around six to seven big ones, or at least 10 to 12 medium or small ones. Now we need to coat and uh, these fish cakes and keep aside. So we've got flour, we've got eggs. I've beaten up two eggs. I added another egg and I've put a pinch of salt and pepper in it as well. And now that's the breadcrumbs and that's the oats. 
If you're only using breadcrumbs, then breadcrumbs, and you need those three, but I always use uh, oats. And you just mix the breadcrumbs and the oats together. And keep that for last. Okay, now you pick the fish cake and dust it in flour. And then goes in the milk, uh, in the egg. Coat it nicely all around. And then last, coat it with breadcrumbs. Okay. And then keep it aside. The other one, same. I'll just show you two and then you can do the rest off camera. Flour, egg. All around breadcrumbs. And keep the side. Carry on doing this there till all the fish cakes are coated. Okay, now that all our fish cakes are ready, now is the time to put the oven on. My oven's on on 200 degrees. And I've got two frying pans for quickness. And I've got around three, two to three tablespoons of oil in each. We need to shallow fry them. So as soon as your oil gets hot, you put the fish cakes in there. I'm going to do three in each. up a bit because it was too hot so I turned it down. Now you need to fry, shallow fry this for three minutes on each side or till it's nice and golden. That's if you have an oven. If you don't have an oven then you just fry the uh, fish cake six minutes each side and it'll be ready. But I will fry them three minutes each side and then put it in the oven for ten minutes. Mm. Okay it's had around two and a half to three minutes and when it's nice and golden you turn it around and now let it fry the other side for two to three minutes. And if you don't if you're frying it for longer, make sure the gas is a bit lower because you don't want them to burn. Okay, it's had at three minutes the other side as well. And now you need to take them out and put it in a tray that's already been greased. I've greased it with butter. That's your lovely fish cakes. So now this I'm going to put in the oven. Like I said, make sure your oven's on on 200 degrees and I'm going to put in the oven for between 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, our luxurious melt in the middle fish cakes are ready. That's how it should look like. You can serve it with uh, side vegetables or you can serve it with side salad. Just cut one, see, just to show you that all the cheese is in the middle. It just, it's so, so delicious. Every cake that you will cut, you will see all the cheese that's melted in the middle. So I hope you like it. Don't forget to put in your description what you think about my luxurious fish cakes. And I shall see you next time. And until then, may God go with you and give you his peace.